Today I'm going to show you how to paint your engine bay with the engine still in the car and make it look this good. Let's get started with this process. What's going on everyone? So we're back over here at my buddy Aubrey's house with the sick NSX. Um, it's J swapped because the original engine blew and it was cheaper to go this route, but I think it's pretty sick to be honest. Uh, if you guys have any questions about this, uh, definitely message him or get on his YouTube channel and ask any questions that you have about his NSX. Uh, link will be in the description for his channel. So today we're going to be getting started on the engine bay on the autism awareness build. Um, I'm going to show you how to paint this engine bay without removing the engine and still make it look like you removed the engine. Because there has been a lot of people that asked for me to do this as a video. I could just pull the engine. It's not very hard with these motors, but... I, I've been requested a lot, so I'm going to show you. Basically, I'm going to remove the battery, all the wiring, as much of the stuff off the firewall as possible. The intake manifold will be coming off. Um, I have to remove that so I have more room to spray back there and in these areas. And then we'll plastic up the entire engine. And anything that doesn't need to be connected, like the motor mounts, will be removed. Uh, jack will be supporting the engine. And those will be removed so we can spray in there. And same thing on this side, everything like headlights, the grill, all that stuff's gonna be removed out of the way, uh, but the engine will still be in the car. So it's kind of an intricate process, but it looks really good when it's done. Um, you can get the same exact results by pulling everything out, but it's a lot more work and a lot of people don't have time for that, which I totally get, because I am one of those people. So I'm just gonna show you how to do that. I'll even be removing this plastic piece here and we'll drape plastic over everything. So should be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and get everything set up. i got to kind of clean up in here so I know where things are, and then we'll be good to go. So sit tight. So there's the purple, it's all done. Looks pretty good. I was able to get all the way down in there. So, I missed a little spot right there. I'll go ahead and touch that up real quick. But uh, yeah, once that's dry, we'll be able to start on this side. I think I'm gonna work my way around this side and get to that side. But uh, yeah, now that that's done, I can focus on the rest and get all the rest prepped. All right, so I'm gonna paint this radiator support and all the front end down there and around the headlights. And once that's dry, then we'll be able to focus on the sides because that back there is still a little tacky. So I'm basically just painting it with the uh, deep blue gloss from Rust-Oleum, really good stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it down, put my respirator on.
All right, so there's the blue. Looks pretty good. Um, got all the way down in there. I have a little overspray on the pipe and stuff, which that's from me removing the plastic. Um, no big deal, I can very easily touch that up. It takes some acetone and it takes that right off. So that's probably what I'll do on that. But uh, rest looks pretty good. So now we wait. Then we can do this one yellow and that little section lime green. It should look really good when it's done. So now it's the waiting game. All right, so I've got the areas I don't want paint on. So I'm basically gonna prime down in there, all those areas. And uh, then we can shoot the color on this side. All right, that's the white primer. So we'll let that dry and then we can hit the green over it. Wow, that stuff is super bright. It reminds me of highlighter. So, really cool, but a ton of overspray. So, you gotta be very careful with this stuff. If you're ever gonna paint a whole car, it's gonna be super bright. And now that that's done, we will do that side yellow. Um, with that being as bright as it is, I don't even know if I should do yellow on that side. Maybe I should do a different color, but I already have the yellow, so I'm already gonna do that. But uh, we gotta let that dry, and then we can remove all the tape on that side and see how everything looks. That's the last one. Here's what it looks like so far. It's looking pretty freaking sweet. Um, all the details I got to down there, um, they're all really blended. So once I remove all the tape, I'll show you all the spots so you know that it doesn't just look like crap. Um, but the engine being in there, it is possible to paint the bay effectively. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry. I'm gonna go ahead and start taking tape off that side since it's already dry, and I'll show you the reveal. All right, so here it is. I still have to put everything together, but you can see um, everywhere I taped looks pretty good, minus this part right here, but I can shove some of that back in there. And the brake booster area, you can see that I missed a little bit on taping, but that's nothing that uh, nothing too big. I can use some acetone to get that off. But yeah, it's looking really good. And you can see that I didn't miss anything down there. And I didn't miss anything down there 
or back there. So it can be done, guys. Um, a lot of people will be like, why didn't you just take all this stuff off? Well, I'm working on limited time. This only took me two hours so far to get to this exact point. So really not bad. Um, and everything over here where I taped off looks really good. So yeah, if you guys get any overspray, you can wipe it off with acetone. That's what I did on a few of the uh, brake lines. I got some overspray on it. Just whoosh, wiped right off with acetone. But I'm going to go ahead and put this together. We'll see how it looks with the intake manifold and everything back on. And uh, then I can paint real quick underneath the hood, make it orange, because I have some Rust-Oleum orange paint. So we'll truck bed coat underneath it once I get more truck bed coating. But for now, I'll just paint it with the orange Rust-Oleum. But yeah, so it'll be like two seconds for you guys. All right, so an hour and a half later, got it back together, and it's looking awesome. Um, you can actually see in there that I got everywhere. It's looking really good. I don't know if you guys can see, but I think it looks freaking amazing. I need to recolor the bolts different colors now, but you can see everything in there. It all got colored. So, looks really good for not having the engine pulled out. Um, if the engine was pulled out, I could have got even more detail, but you can't even tell. Looks like I painted it with the engine pulled out. But there you go. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I painted the underside of the hood, I forgot to tell you, with the uh, Rust-Oleum's orange, uh, matte orange or rustic orange or something like that. It's not an exact match, but once I truck bed coat it, it'll look really good under there. So... I just wanted to do this video for you guys because it's been requested a lot. Um, not everyone understands why I did it the way I did it, but that's because you guys wanted me to do it that way and I try to get you guys what you want as often as I can. Um, but it would have turned out a lot better if I had pulled everything out. But as you can see in here, it looks pretty freaking good. And other than that little spot right there, and on this rubber here, you can see behind there, here, sorry, not focusing. And you can see behind there, that's the original color of the car. But yeah, other than that stuff, it turned out really good. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna go ahead and get off here and clean up my mess because I've got a big mess now. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, God bless, stay safe, and I'll see you then.